has been practicing. Be an agitator. Don't be a retaliator. Be the agitator and hit first. In a game that kids dream about as they're growing up, learning the game of basketball. 2010 NBA Finals Game 7 This was the first NBA Finals Game 7 since 2005, five years earlier. Early in the first quarter, both the Celtics and the Lakers kept the game close, with each team holding a one-point lead. They were crushed on the boards early in Game 6, as Wallace banks it in. Gasol left open. More second-chance opportunities, a foul. Happening in the paint. He's hanging out at the top of the key on the free throw line. Players are going to have to do their job. Gasol. The Lakers' offense suddenly began to deteriorate with starters missing field goals and easy layups. Ray Allen all over Bryant. Good defense there. Basket knocked away. Boy, they're letting him play early. Bryant tripped up on the loose ball. Celtic ball. Have a free throw in game six. So unusual. Rondo inside. And get Garnett on the Saul. Fisher left open. A two-pointer won't go. And this transition game so vital. Bill Jackson said that's the number. The Celtics took advantage of their opponents' mistakes to extend their lead. Following the team's first full timeout, the Celtics outscored the Lakers 6 to 1. Had it, lost it. Ryan gets it back. Tough shot. In and out. Ryan again. Triple team kicks it out. Extra pass to Fisher, the runner. Basketball and be aggressive because Paul Pierce is totally ignored. Ray Allen. Outstanding. I love the help that Pierce is creating. Rondo to Garnett. It's all inside to Kobe Bryant. Grab chain of defense. Defense so good the other night. As Davis gets inside. Davis scored four points out of questionable calls. Boston held the Lakers to 14 points in the first quarter, having taken a 23-14 lead. Here's continues looking for Davis. Davis up and under. going to cost my team an opportunity to be wearing the juice. Quarter setting the tone. Absolutely. It's the first quarter lead as Bryant. The Lakers regained control of the game early in the second quarter, scoring 11 straight points. To Good transition defense there. Rondo, post to post, and backs it in. However, the lead was short-lived as Ray John Rondo and Kevin Garnett scored two pointers to retake control of the game. Thus far, they only took 10 free throws the entire game in Game 6. Pierce, nice pull-up. Finals. It has been an offensive struggle. Martest. That's good! His girlfriend instead. Brought around the drive. Bryant pulls up. Lakers. Wallace, five on the shot clock. Turns and shoots and banks it in. Ray Allen the drive. Pierce for three. Puts it in. Despite this, the Lakers kept scoring, with Ron Arteist hitting three of his four free throws in the quarter to keep the deficit at four points. Before the end of the second quarter, Paul Pierce sank a pair of free throws to give the Celtics a 40-34 lead. Finished obviously in 2008, that game six destruction in Boston. They had that bus ride back to the host, a dangerous situation. The Lakers remember that well. They'd love to get a little revenge here tonight. But at halftime, they're going to have to get the rebounding paint game under defense. Really good work. Six points, four boards, two. Bryant with six on the shot clock. Welcome here. Bryant the drive, picks it out. Shannon Brown fires it up. Nope. The Celtics started the second half on a 9-2 run, increasing their lead over the Lakers to as many as 13 points. Gasol wasn't trying to make a play. Nice pass inside. Garnett gets it to go. And by the way, that's his second foul. After that last miss, he's three. For Fisher fights over the screen. Tough shot from Rondo. Tough shot. Rondo, the offensive rebound. Goes back up. Anxious crowd now as Bryant draws the foul. He's going to come in as Paul Pierce. The defining moment for the Lakers, however, came after the team took a 20-second timeout. 
Here in the finals, cheering against the hated Celtics, Garnett the drive, flips it up and gets it. How he is capitalizing on the Powell match. Fisher, a two-pointer with soft touch. Our chest drives inside. Banker, oh, hold him right there for the final. Bryant hit a running jumper off a Lamar Odom assist to spark a 6-2 run by the Lakers, cutting their deficit to six points behind Boston. Back defensively. Pierce for three. It's good. Pierce then hit a three-pointer to extend the advantage to nine points. From the field. 0 for 5 from downtown. His team down 9. Odom to the basket. Single coverage in the post. Wallace. Nice to shoot. Bryant drives inside. The soul. As the third quarter came to a close, the Lakers maintained their direction with Bryant hitting a four foot jumper and Gasol hitting two free throws. Lakers reserve Lamar Odom made a tip shot at the end of the quarter to make the score 57 to 53. Brown. In and out. John Brown gets it in. Won't go. Tip by Odom. Gets it back and puts it up and in. Commissioner cancels the game. <laughs> Gasol. Count it and a foul. Again, over the top to Garnett. Banks it in. Season has helped to win two big playoff games. Game six against Orlando. Doc Rivers, I give him credit. He has big. About before, Norris Burke telling us. Midway through the fourth quarter, Fisher sank a three-point field goal from 26 feet away to tie the game at 64. Paint area. Great unselfish play by Gasol. Ray Allen the drive. Tough shot. Barrett trying to rattle one of the great free throw shooters. Back out Fisher. Fisher for three. Bang! Moment. Rondo flips it up. That won't go. And slowly chipped away at the lead. Despite having a bad offensive night, Bryant. Back in. Pierce puts it up. Shot won't go. Bryant at five. Bryant backs in. Inside the Gasol. Tried to draw the foul. Gasol hit two more free throws on a Garnett foul to extend that margin to six. Pierce. Jump shot, knocks it down. Bryant gets to the rim, blocked for the foul. Game six, and what a turnaround here in game seven. Defenses have been amazing here tonight. Pass inside to Garnett, Garnett throws it down. Rondo goes for the steal. Pass inside to Sol. The double team and make the right play. The ball go to Odom or Artest and make him make a rim. Wallace scored a three-pointer with a minute and a half left to cut the Lakers' lead to 76-73, showing that the Celtics would not give up despite the Lakers' six-point advantage. Defending the screener. This is a bad foul by Ron Artest. Once again, Coach, what you talked about. Points here in the fourth quarter. Great double team and rotation by the Celtics. Here's the drive, gets to the rim, blocked from behind. In, spins, fake, shot, it's good! By sinking a three-point goal to restore his team's lead back to six with a minute remaining in the game, but Ray Allen respond with a three-pointer of his own to cut the Lakers' lead to three again. Sit back out to Bryant, drives to the basket! And he's fouled, a blocking foul on Wallace. That's just... Bryant attained two more free throws on Wallace's foul to extend the lead to five, 81 to 76. Go Eagles, the LA Lakers, the 2010 NBA champions. Bryant, despite shooting six for 24 from the field, scored 10 of his game-high 23 points in the fourth quarter. He was named the finals MVP for the second straight season.